Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel and to another video. So as you can see from the title, today we are going to talk about very inexpensive fragrances that are so worth their price. It's insane. They're all long lasting, they all project and they smell so, so fish, so expensive. It's just insane. I love them so so much and I think you will love them too. So let's make this roundup of those very affordable fragrances that smell absolutely amazing and they have amazing lasting power and projection. Speaking of inexpensive pieces that actually are very very expensive looking, I want to share with you a little piece that I got from Julia Jewelry. The box looks like this if you do not know already. I've been working with Julia for almost my entire career on YouTube and I absolutely love this brand. They have amazing quality pieces with great price, very reasonable and the craftsmanship behind their brand is fantastic. So this time I got earrings again and I got those beautiful hoops that are all covered in diamond haze and I really really love them. So recently I have been experimenting a little bit more with my jewelry and I've been mixing my gold with silver and it looks so nice like look at it guys so 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 pretty I'm gonna take one off just to show you a close-up but basically this is how it looks like let me just cover my face so it zooms properly isn't it beautiful and just so dainty and very very sturdy made love it really love it it has this nice clasp i don't really love studs because i always lose them uh, so when i have this kind of a hunky hoop i can be sure that it stays put on my ear that's why i always wear hoop like um, earrings and this one is so nice it's very like I, want, I don't want to say heavy because you know it's light it doesn't weigh your ear down but you can feel the quality in your fingers when you hold it and that's amazing so of course as per usual i do have a discount code for you from julia um it always is like that guys i show you the pieces that i recommend and now you can go ahead and shop them and you actually get a beautiful discount so it's very much worth it I highly recommend it and uh, I'm sure that you're going to find something that you love on their website. So use the code and have fun. So yes, let me start. But before I start, you please push that button that says subscribe and the bell. And of course, follow me on Insta. So with that out of the way let's begin the first one i want to show you is a favorite of mine from over a year ago and that is jasmine wisp from razazi this one is quite similar to kirke from tiziana terenzi but it is way cheaper like way cheaper you can get it on ebay on amazon i will of course link everything below for you this one is such a great bank for your buck i get so many compliments when i wear it this is more of a fruity fragrance i mean it is fruity but it's also um based with very very heavy notes like amber vanilla um there's also some woodiness in here it is just fantastic and I love it in the summertime but not like you know in those sweaty heaty days more like you know just summertime when it's a proper weather for it if you know what I mean I mean like when it's like super duper hot and you're sweating your ass out I prefer something like very light and airy and fresh and citrusy this one is not that so yeah this one is heavy it's very sweet it's potent it's amazing all right and yeah i got so many compliments with it guys it's insane such a good fragrance on a budget and if you don't have it already what are you doing have you been even watching my videos just go and get it click the link below it will take you there because this is the one that you absolutely have to have uh, also if you have been considering getting kirke 
I think this one will be a better option because you know it smells very similar I would even say this one is more potent um, of course you know Tiziana Terenzi has all those sophisticated bottles blah 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 but come on this is so good so so good and you will not be disappointed like especially with the longevity so that is Jasmine Wisp from Razazi fantastic fragrance Fragrance number two that I have is not as long-lasting as Rosazi, but it's still very decent with decent projection and again the price is fantastic for what it is. This is from Dolce & Gabbana and this is Garden, Dolce Garden. And to me this is by far one of the best coconut fragrances that you can get within that price tag. Like forget Tom Ford, forget literally forget any other if you want a great 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 coconut that is very um, youthful but also sophisticated and classy enough that you can even wear it for work this one so beautiful you also get quite a heavy dose of frangipani in here so beautiful guys this one is amazing it also mixes very well with woody fragrances and vanillas so yeah you will have a great base for summer with this one i think this is that kind of fragrance that will get you through the whole summer you can wear it during the day during the night you're good so that is a investment and i say investment because it's not that expensive um, that will be basically take you through the whole summertime so i think it's super worth it it's still available i know there are new ones like the rose one and lily one that was just released but i still think this one just takes the cake comparing to the others i like the lily one i smelt it but this one is still the best in my opinion there's also dolce shine that i do own in yellow bottle which is also very nice and it also lasts very well so if you want something more fruity like a fresh mango with a little bit of tuberose get shine but if you want a coconut fantastic for the price they're both mwah, 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 so good so that is that next one we have of course within a lower price tag there has to be a cavalli so i chose paradiso azuro from cavalli because to me this is one of the most sophisticated citrusy white florals that exist not only within that price range but in general uh, you can easily switch Jour d'Hermes to this one and you will feel just sophisticated as wearing Hermes if you know what I mean so that is a great one it lasts very decently uh, the projection is moderate to strong depending how you spray but I think that the bottle even it is just so overall amazing the whole line I really like. I really love Gemma di Paradiso, as you guys know, it's also amazing. Many Cavallis out there that are fantastic with great price, and I feel like Roberto Cavalli in general makes very good fragrances. So, pretty much whatever you go with, you will most probably be satisfied. But if you want something very beautiful for springtime and summertime, I think Paradiso Azuro will be perfect. This is my ultimate daytime scent for summer, especially when you go to like business meetings and stuff, this will be perfect. So yes, great work scent, but it can take you to the beach as well. It's, it's that versatile. So Paradiso Azuro, fantastic. Next one we've got, let's go with this one. Um, this to me, it really happens so rarely that such an inexpensive fragrance smells that way it's so good and that is for all my deeper rose lovers that is Nina Ricci Extaz Rose Absolute and to be completely honest I think from the whole line of these fragrances this one is definitely the best option because it smells the most unique out of them all it's also the most long lasting and you know people do compare it to Oud Satin Mood from Kurjan which has also created this fragrance. Um, I wouldn't say so but you still get a vibe you know. This is a vibe of a boss lady, 
a beautiful sophisticated woman it's great for evenings but if you are a ceo or something and you really want to just you know knock everyone <laughs> with a fragrance i think this one will be perfect for not much money and trust me 99.9 percent of people will mistake nina ricci with something that's super bougie super expensive people will think you're wearing tom ford at least okay at least tom ford and going up when you're wearing that one so beautiful but you do have to like rose it's a sweet rose but this is a rose prominent scent so keep that in mind but i think from the whole range again this one is the best um i do like um the pink one that i do also own but this one still takes the cake for me so yes rose extas absolute fantastic one okay next one we've got a couple of fragrances that are inspirations and you know in general maybe i would say i'm not the, the biggest fan of all those like dupe companies etc etc but this one to me takes the cake it's they're so good they are so good for a fraction of the price of what they inspired themselves with so juliana's perfumes this video is not sponsored i'm literally just showing you what i love what i think it's worth it and what i use i just have two here because i could easily pull out the whole closet of them because i have so many um but in general juliana's perfumes are fantastic fantastic and i have here scarlet leather which is an inspiration from alien essence absolute long discontinued so if you crave it you can have it from juliana and here i have oud orange imperial which is a dupe so called of um fragrance de bois oud orange intense which i really really wanted for the longest time but you know i cannot justify the price i just cannot and then suddenly juliana released this and my prayers have been answered this is such a beautiful fragrance it is a vanilla slightly spicy slightly fruity fragrance you also get some coconut in here it's very creamy you do get that orangey touch as well which is so beautiful i think spring night summer night dates it's gonna be perfect so take a look at juliana's website they have so many inspirations they have parfums the marley they have initio they have killian so 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 many so whatever you like it's probably already there so check them out i love them the longevity is the longevity okay this is the longevity great 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 one uh, stays on your clothes stays on your skin gives you a punch gives a trail everything's perfect so I, I cannot i just cannot compliment them enough because i love them so so much um literally this saved me from buying a hella expensive fragrance so here we have juliana's not just one particular fragrance just in general i think for the price tag nobody would ever expect this is a price of a fragrance you're wearing if they do not know okay so yeah amazing just amazing guys trust me okay here i have jill zander's son parfum and this was released last year and this is the honey based sun fragrance and to me okay maybe it doesn't smell like the most sophisticated fragrance in the world okay it doesn't it is a fresher floral honey scent with a lot of musk but boy does it last like does it project it is perfect this is like my everyday scent just grab and go spray myself out the door thank you bye this is my sports fragrance even though it's quite sweet this is my running errands this is literally everything perfect for every day that mask in the dry down is so nice and heavy 
and it keeps it in place on your skin and on your clothes so yes this is to me the best release from Jill Zander up to date so if you can get it get it uh, it's quite hard to find I don't know why but yeah I will of course link it below for you guys but I love it I really really love it as you can see I did dent it very well and I intend to use it up this year so that's my goal a lovely fragrance okay what do we have next I have a new brand it's a niche brand but the price tag is very very decent and that is Nila Fa du Nil and this is a Egyptian brand and they make such beautiful fragrances the one that I have and the one I think smells so opulent is Jardin de la Bergamote and this is from the men's collection but don't be afraid of that it is just exquisite and completely unisex like you know it's just citruses in general lean unisex so and this one doesn't have any masculine colony touch to it nothing like that so don't be scared just go and get it this one to me is a green fragrance with a lot of petit grain um, slightly sharp but not too sharp a lot of like mandarin orange very juicy super duper juicy but at the same time you can smell it's done so well to me to me this just like kills all the summery tomfuls you if you have this one you really don't need any like Costa Zuras or Neroli Portofinos you just don't need them it's that good that smell is so sophisticated it is so well done guys this fragrance is so well done it's insane so yes I highly recommend checking out the brand very very beautiful actually we have pettigrain and lime here neroli and grapefruit and musk ambroxan and vetiver so yes just a beautiful green um slightly musky orangey grapefruity fragrance <laughs> so yeah beautiful all right what do we have next i have four more to show you so let's start maybe with zara and okay here we have to stop because again this is the case that i have to tell you no matter what you take uh, get by from the line that joe malone created is gonna be good it is just gonna be good there is no way around it they are all great i test them tested all of them so to me it's mainly a preference of what you like and what you prefer and that's what you should get they are all good the longevity differs on each of them that's true however when it comes to the scent profile and how it you know develops on your skin they are all very beautifully done uh, one of my favorites is definitely captivatingly paris i also love the vetiver pamplemousse which is slightly similar to this one from nilafa uh, in general citruses from jo malone and the uh, vibrant cities collection the whole collection is fantastic so get whatever you like basically to me this is i think my favorite from vibrant cities and that's because it really reminds me reminds me it's not a dupe okay reminds me of the lina exclusive you know it's that same pair with rose it's not as vanillic or fluffy or plush no this one is a little bit more like sharp so to speak i don't know how to actually explain it but yeah let's say it's a little bit more sharp and um not as like creamy you know but still has a vibe it is such beautifully smelling fragrance you just have to get this one because it's so inexpensive and this one lasts forever that's why i showed you this particular one not only because it's my favorite but also this one is the best when it comes to longevity and sillage i can smell it for days in my hair just like until i wash it i can smell it in my hair so that is paris from zara vibrant cities 
and we have free to go. Uh, this one actually I recently got a very nice message from one of you guys saying that you purchased it and you're so surprised how amazingly it smells and that is Kenzo World Power and this one is the fragrance that has really almost nothing to do with the other world Kenzo's it's so different from the whole collection. The whole collection is quite floral. I do like the intense. It's nice. It's like a plum vanilla. Also very worth the price and it's long lasting. But my favorite is this. This is Cypress, Tonka and Salt. Nothing more here. Uh, to me, it's unisex. It, a, it is a sweet, uh, like piney, salty smell very interesting it is definitely on a unique side and it is definitely a great great purchase for the price it lasts so well um, it projects so well i think that i will kind of make my boyfriend use it as well because i love how it smells and i i'm pretty sure it's gonna smell amazing on him too i love this one this is more of a fresher cologne type of scent so it's gonna be great for warmer weather uh, I do not really wear it like when it's cold but for warmer weather fantastic it's a sweeter one but still a unisex so yes Kenzo world power fantastic what do we have next my darlings I have only two fragrances left and they're both from Al Haramein and the first one is a love and tool farm and this one basically just to cut the story short is a dupe for Creed Aventus for her that's pretty much it if you love Creed Aventus for her but you want something less expensive you don't want to spend so much money on a fragrance I think this one is something you should have on your shelf already by now. Amazing, amazing. It smells so divine, pretty much like Aventus for her. But the lasting power, guys, it's just insane. Usually, Al Haramein have one of the best lasting powers ever for the price tag. So, yeah. If you're worried about the lasting power with Al Haramein, Nothing like that is gonna happen that you're not gonna be satisfied. They all last so well um, But this one is so amazing To me, um, it's also like a fresher scent, but it does have a lot of sweetness to it It's also musky Just beautiful and it smells so sophisticated guys it smells so good like nobody will believe the price of this fragrance if you tell them the truth okay and yeah massive compliment getter as well so a lovely one lovely this is Lavender Femme and last but not least that we have here from Al Haramein we have my new love my new obsession and that is Royal Musk guys I cannot with this fragrance. This is one of their best creations ever. Amazing, just amazing. This is, as the name suggests, very musky. To me, it's like, it easily, easily could be another Narciso Rodriguez, easily. This one has musk beeswax. So, you know, you have that nice, waxy touch that I really like in fragrances you also have florals you also have tiara flower which is more on the tropical side so you have all the best things ever and what it becomes is a beautiful very clean musky scent ultra feminine um, I wouldn't say it's particularly powdery it's just clean just a beautiful slightly floral clean musk I adore it the bottle is beautiful I have a full review of the whole new collection from Al Harmain so I will link it for you so if you want to know more check it out because the collection has beautiful fragrances in general this one is my favorite though so that is Royal Mask 
the longevity is amazing this one is slightly less offensive so i think it's gonna be again perfect for work for dates for just running errands being around the house important meetings formal events this is such a great all-rounder and i think you will be always always complimented with that it suits any age any occasion one of those fragrances that i think any woman should have in their collection so yeah lovely one so that is royal mask from al harmain and that is that my lovelies i really hope you enjoyed it please let me know what is your favorite cheapy so to speak that smells actually very sufficient of course i could um put so much more in here of course my beloved montal signature smells exquisite and i always forget about it because it's in my mother's house and you know when i when i don't see it on the shelf i forget about it what else elizabeth arden the white tea range also great one for the price uh, and now I cannot think of anything else from the top of my head, but these two that I just mentioned also great So yeah, I think I think I'm just gonna end right here and I see you in my next video. Bye